Hey YouTube, how's it going? I just wanted to talk about a few things because I just watched the five year anniversary of the CTFXC and I'm so happy that we've been on this journey that we call family, the Charles Tribute Family X Corps. And it's so emotional because we are going through a change that we feel for Charles and Allie. But at the same time, we're watching them pull through this change and we're admiring him for this amount of strength he has. The fact that he's pulling through all of these changes and pulling through the sadness and just using us as a alternative to, I guess, just healing. He has many other ways to heal, but we're his support system. And that alone really shows a lot. I love Charles. I've met him twice. I plan to meet him. I plan to meet him for a third time at the White River Amphitheater. I really want to make something, or I want to be in his vlog, or I want to be his friend. I want to do something to really express myself because honestly, every day, I, of course, I think everybody feels like this where they're at school and they have to worry about all these assignments and the kids around them. Some of them need to just, it's, what I'm trying to say is sometimes people feel trapped in their life and they only get a little bit of time to really feel the passion that they want to express for the CTF Xero Shade Tards. And, I'm, and it's almost like a scary thing as you think that someday you may not be a fan but you don't want that to happen. You want to be a fan for the rest of your life. And that's what I'm working on right now. I want to be a CTFX here in Shaky Tarts, Rebellion Night, and YouTuber for the rest of my life. And that's a huge commitment because you're ta because you're talking, you're gonna have to be uploading videos. Not well, you're gonna have to really make a living out of YouTube. But what I'm trying to say is, is I want Charles and Shay to know that I'm really passionate for them, and I really want to be seen and noticed for what I'm passionate for. I want to have a job at Maker Studios. I want to, I guess, be a, a, a neighbor and live near Charles so I can always see him every single day. I want to be a model for the CTFXE merchandise. I want to express my passion and Honestly, I think we're all having those thoughts where we want to live near them, see them, and just be with them because we are so passionate for them just as beings. And to them, they're normal people, people, but to us, they're these very special and significant people that we have grown so much with. At the same time, we don't think we get a lot of time to see, to see them in person because we... <coughs> only get to see them a few times a year. VidCon, Playlist Live, Vlogger Fair, We The Kings, and Warp Tour. And occasionally, if we're on, on a trip, it, we'll, get lucky, we'll be lucky enough to see them and be in their vlog. And <coughs> I've been fortunate enough to... my cat right there. She's cute. Um, I've been fortunate enough to go to Vlogger Fair for the first time. And I met Shay there. I was very happy to see him. I was in his vlog. Um, I was in his vlog who wants to make out with my brother of the thumbnail where she was a lady with r really big chest and all that. But then I've also met Charles twice at, at the White River Amphitheater Dream Warp Tour. And, and got a picture with him. And... And... I met Charles again at the showbox at the market in Seattle in 2013. And seeing him again was awesome. Of course, when you're so excited to see him, you can't really contain your excitement. You just kind of, you'll stammer or you'll talk really fast or you'll try to calm down, but you're just so, you know, fa fan, you know, geeking out that you have to, you know, really make sure that you're getting the message out to him. But... 
I wanted to say something about when I met Charles for the first time, that that was probably the best experience I had, because I, I was getting in line to get my, I guess, iPhone signed, and I still have that case, by the way, I'm not throwing that away, but the signed parts are kind of faded, but I'm not throwing it away. But anyway, I was signing up, excuse me, excuse me I was lining up with the kids to get my phone signed, and I was kind of spacing out, and then and then this voice said, hey man, and it was Charles, and his glasses on, and I just felt this really vibrant, positive, warm feeling from him, and he it did a very gentle knuckle punch, and that was a very relaxing knuckle punch, but normally they're painful, it was very relaxing, he did a little fist bump, and it was just such a relaxing fist bump, and then I got to get a picture with him, and it was great. He, I could tell that in his energy, he wanted to be there for his fans. He didn't want to walk away. And that's what makes him so wise, because he loves us, you guys. He, Charles really loves us. He admires us for our support. He loves the comments. He's just so grateful for us. We need to keep this fan base going for as long as we possibly can. Possibly until we're all married and have kids. We want to teach our kids about this amazing man named, named Charles Paul Trippy III and Shay Carl Butler, and just extend YouTube, extend YouTube to a community where everybody can be a part of it, and everybody can express their passions, interests, loves, goals, and dreams, and soon it'll become like a universal company where there won't be just one YouTube space in LA, but there'll be other YouTube buildings like all across the globe. I mean, we're talking Spain, um, we're talking China, we're talking maybe Antarctica, probably a little, a little unrealistic, but you never know, or Oregon, Washington, where I live, California, I think there's only one there, but Texas, we want to get YouTube so widespread that we can get more YouTubers to come to our hometowns so that we don't have to stress the money to fly out everywhere or to, you know, go see them, because of course, money is such a hassle these days, I mean, who wants to pay a $2,000 ticket just to go to a convention to see a YouTuber, I mean, of course you want to see the YouTuber, but do you really want to pay $2,000? I mean, it takes a lot of time, energy, effort, and commitment to save that, that kind of money. I mean, what, I mean, it would be so great if there was just, not just one, but several places you could go to to see many YouTubers, and there are quite a few, but there isn't enough. We need more locations to really see everybody that we admire and love for YouTube. And I just wanted to express how I feel because that montage really wanted, I, that five year montage of the CTFX, he motivated me to make this video. And I hope that you all feel the motivation to make a, to make it, to make an expression video. Alright guys, thanks for your time, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you all soon.